Well, good morning, everyone. Happy Mother's Day to you. Sitting here thinking about uh, when I was a kid, how we used to love to do something special for mom on Mother's Day. Of course, we didn't have any money. Um, you know, we lived out in the country and um, our allowance, uh, it pretty much was gone the minute we got it because we go down to the gas station to get a popsicle with it. So we didn't have any money, but there was always dandelions. We'd make dandelion bouquets and make our own cards, Mother's Day cards. We'd go get a piece of construction paper and crayons and, and make cards um, and present our flowers. And we could always make breakfast in bed. Even if we burnt it, she seemed to like it. <laughs> so there's always special things you can do for mom on Mother's Day. And, um, and boy, we, we always had a good time doing that. So anyways, today I thought maybe we would just learn something different. And, uh, and it's just a little riff uh, that I use a lot of times just to kind of, it kind of helps in a practice. Uh, for for finger picking and what have you, but it's also kind of fun to, to play. And so you can either strum it or you can finger pick it, whatever one you're comfortable with. Um, let me play it both ways and then I'll get into showing you the chords for it. It's kind of has a little swing jazz feel to it. So listen to it. So here it goes. And here it is picked. Okay, so let's get started with that. Well, this one starts first with an A minor, um, but it's not the C minor. We're going to play it a little differently in that we're going to go up to the fifth fret and we're simply going to bar the first four strings. We're only going to play those four strings. We're not playing these bottom two or the fifth and the sixth string, okay? I play these four strings. Usually when I play, if I'm doing finger style, it's thumb, takes care of the bottom of the uh, uh, four, five, and six string, and the fingers take care of one, two, and three string, okay? So in this place, um, because this is a G note right here, this fourth string at the seventh fret, or fifth fret, that's a G, they actually call this A minor over G because of that note. Okay, now the thing is, is that is the A minor chord I was talking about, but I want you to modify it to, for the first part of it. What I want you to do is take your pinky finger and just lay it down on the seventh fret first string. So it's this instead of this. Not this, but you're gonna start with this, okay? So, sounds just like that. Or like this. So there we go. Now the next chord, a little bit more complex. It's called the F sharp diminished. Now this one is found at the fourth fret. It looks like this. You'll see the chord chart up there. Now so, there's notice some things about it. The um, first finger is found on the fourth fret, fourth string, right? And then your ring finger is the next string in line. That's what makes this one's a little weird. It's usually you line them up and they're all kind of following, uh, you know, along with the strings, but not in this case. It's almost like you're making a D chord here until you put your pinky down. See that? It's like, it's that same shape. It's triangle shape that you make a D here, okay? That's kind of a way to say it, I guess. And then take your pinky and it's going to be on the first string, fifth, fifth fret. Okay, that chord is F sharp diminished. That's kind of a neat chord. Okay, that's not part of this riff. I'm just playing around with it, okay? So there's F sharp diminished. If you take that chord and move down two frets, that same formation, that's E diminished. So I want you to remember that because we're going to use that. We're going to use both of those. Okay. Oh, this one's called E diminished. This one's called F sharp diminished. 
Okay, got that? Okay, let's go back to uh, the first one. It was What was it? It was A minor over G. Well, except we were going to pick up that B string, or that B note, okay? Go to the F sharp diminished. Now we're going to make another chord, and that chord's going to be a D, a D chord. Okay, except for this one, you notice I'm barring this D. You see the chord chart up there? Don't bar it. All I want you to do is, we're not gonna be playing those bottom two strings, so just pick up that bar or don't play the bar. Put it, the pointer finger on the first string and the fifth fret. That's a D. Hear it? Okay. So there's a D chord right there. Okay. If you move down two frets, you're going to be at C, right? Yep. Okay. So now. So, so now here, let's hear what we have so far. So far we have, right? And then we're gonna do the D. And then we're gonna move down to the two frets that I talked about for the F, the E diminished chord. It looks like the F sharp diminished chord, remember that? Okay, you see the chord chart there? Yeah. So let's try these together again. The D, E diminished, okay? And then what I want you to do is do the, the C chord, same way as the D, same shape, just playing those bottom four strings. And then you just go to the D and finalize it with the G. Those are the chords. So let's try it again. Okay, there's the A minor over G. There's the E diminished, or excuse me, the F sharp diminished, the D. Then we're going to go to the E diminished. Then we're going to go to the C, D, G. Okay, let's hear it picked. So there you have it. Uh, just a little riff that you can play around with. Hopefully you learned something new in chords today. You know, that this uh, actually reminds me of a song. My father was uh, quite, quite the piano player and uh, he liked to play jazz. And uh, Louis Armstrong made a song famous, I guess it was in the 30s. It was called Jeepers Creepers, Where'd You Get Those Peepers? Or something like that. And as a kid, as a child, he used to always sing it to me, you know, and I thought that was so cool. Um, I, it kind of, I can't sing, but it went like this. See if you remember it. Jeepers Creepers, Where'd You Get Those Peepers? Okay, so that's the song it could go with, I guess. <laughs> or maybe you know some others that that might fit into. But anyways, um, I think we'll end right there. And I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day wherever you are in this world. <laughs>